Guys, I have been standing on Frostbite's wing for days now. I need a like so you guys support me because I'm pretty sure I'm about to break a world record. Oh no, I fell. Oh, I'll flip. All right, hopefully that was long enough for the Guinness World Record of, of Dragon Wing standing. Rodney, mark it down. Okay, we need to tell everybody I now am a world record holder. Bessie, 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 the challenge went perfectly. I am now the world record holder for Dragon Wing standing. I know, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what you have uh, for me today. It looks like she has a book called It's Dragon Time. Wait, 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 hold up. Before we get into the action, I just had to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Epic Games. Now, I tend to not really let sponsors in on the channel unless I absolutely love them. I think they're awesome. And Epic Games is definitely one of those exceptions. If you guys don't know, they are the massive gaming company behind Fortnite, but they also recently opened up their own store and they're doing an Epic Mega Sale so I thought I would let you guys know about it. Now, during this epic sale, you get $10 to spend on any game over $15, and there's a ton of games that you probably know, and maybe there's some that you don't know, like Dauntless. That's a game I've been playing a lot recently because, uh, yeah, I love fighting huge, awesome bosses, as you guys probably know, and Dauntless has absolutely giant bosses as well that you can team up with your friends, and you could absolutely just destroy them, chop their heads off, and then collect awesome materials. Now, you guys can access the mega sale by using the link in the description if you do want to go check it out for yourself another cool thing is that if you don't like dauntless there's a new free game every single week on the store so once you have it downloaded using my link you can get that ten dollars off pretty much any game over fifteen dollars and you can check out brand new games all the flipping time so you really don't lose out here now the sale ends pretty soon you have until june 13th so a couple weeks in order to you know access my link you can go check out the games it can be dauntless it can be pretty much anything on the epic mega sale event so guys, after you're done watching this video, definitely feel free to go check it out. Links are in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get back into the action. I have finally figured out how to breed Inferno and Frostbite. Read my entry in the bestiary to find out what you need. I'm not really sure what will happen since they are both super strong dragons. Love, Bessie. It looks like we also have some Bessie's comments of the day. So it looks like all of these amazing, beautiful, fantastical people all wanted to see Inferno and Frostbite breed together to have a baby mega dragon. I really hope it works. Okay, so we have uh, something in here. We have, oh my gosh, the giant bestiary. And it looks like we have a book on fire dragons, ice dragons, dragon materials. I'm gonna say it's probably under tame dragons. All right, this is not necessary info. Uh, no, not this, not this. Wait, oh, it might be this. It says adult dragons can be bred by feeding them a mixture of elemental items. But first, these items must be gathered. So there's like a red flower and then there's a blue flower. So they're called fire lilies and frost lilies, and we need to use them to create some sort of weird mixture. So it looks like Bessie probably grabbed the blaze rods and the prismarine crystals, and all I have to do is find the flowers. Eh, uh, okay, I, I got a flower. Is this a, a fire lily? No, okay, it's just a normal poppy. Fake Bessie, any idea where the flowers lily things are at? All right, I'll shoot you in the face if you don't tell me. Come on, just tell me where it is, bro. All right, fine. Oh my gosh, okay, I almost just killed myself. Do I get any hints about like where they are? All right, so there's fire lilies and frost lilies. And uh, okay, so one is like really warm. One is really cold. Uh, so maybe they spawn in specific biomes. I know for a fact there's a desert over in this direction, but I want to quickly check something. I'm pretty sure that frostbite was uh, breathing ice fire over here in a video a couple weeks ago. And I think this is exactly what I need. Let me just grab that. All right, cool. There we go. We have the frost lily, which should be able to make the frost mixture. I'll let Rodney hang on to this along with my awesome collection of cookies. But now I need to find a fire lily. So we have the desert over here. Are there any more frost lilies just in case? Okay, we have a couple. So if it doesn't work the first time, I can come back over here, collect some more frost lilies from like whatever the heck this ice is. Now, if we head over to the desert uh do we have any fire lilies we have dead bushes oh okay there we go we got our first fire lily here you go rodney i'm going to hand this to you whatever you do do not eat the cookies and do not eat the fire flower thingies we have a fake bestie all right before i start breeding the dragons i gotta explode it there we go boom i do that to every fake bestie i see 
Now, I'm not really sure if this is going to be the end of the dragon saga. I'm also not sure if, uh, like, it's able to breed a, a fire dragon and an ice dragon. They're both completely different. We'll find out in just a second here. So we have our bowl with the prismarine crystals. We have our other bowl with the blaze rods. Rodney, give me the steak and lilies before you accidentally eat them. Let's head in here and uh, I should be able to craft whatever the heck mixture thingy I need. So we have the frost lily, we have a bowl, we have the crystals, and we have the frost lily mixture. Now we should be able to do the same thing with the fire lily and then the blaze rods. Okay, we have the fire mixture right there. Now all I have to do, I'm pretty sure is get them together and then just throw this mixture at them. I also need to decide what uh, armor to give Frostbite. I was thinking gold armor. A couple of you guys suggested that. Leave a comment down below. I'm pretty sure I could do iron, diamond, or gold armor. I need to take them to a nice area. I'm thinking way over here. Not necessarily in the desert, but a nice neutral breeding ground, which I'm guessing this should work. Stay right there. Do not leave. All right. We need to make sure we do this right. I also need you guys help figuring out where to keep the dragons because currently frostbite on top of my house I mean, it looks really cool, but I'm kind of worried my house is just gonna break in half A few of you guys had the idea of making a giant dragon cave, which I think would be super cool We can keep inferno frostbite and their whatever baby dragon they make I'm thinking a giant cave deep below the surface right there Be sure to let me know what you guys think about that But let's take inferno and head over with frostbite and I think we're pretty much good to go I really have no idea what kind of egg they're going to make or if it's even possible. Comment down below what the heck you guys think it's going to be. But, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Why did you just throw me off, bro? Come on, we're almost there. There we go. Uh, wait, hold up. Where did Frostbite go? No, 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 this can't be happening. What? the heck frostbite just went invisible whatever dude let's get them side by side all right there we go we'll have their heads right next to each other this should work perfectly all right inferno's right there we have frostbite right there and all i have to do is throw this weird mixture of flower stuff at them i'm a little bit scared guys because they're absolutely massive and if they don't like it i'm gonna get eaten in one single bite let's try it though all right so we have the mixture there we go. We have some hearts. Okay, we got to run over here on Frostbite, and we'll throw the mixture down. Okay, I can't tell if it's working. I also have no idea how long it takes to work. Oh, I didn't actually throw it. Frostbite, take it, bro. Oh, there we go. Wait, I don't want to get on top of her back. Okay, please tell me it's working. Do we have hearts? Yes, we have hearts on both of them. It looks like it's actually working. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Let's head up around the other side. I can't tell. They're not moving in on each other. Uh, it just started raining out of nowhere. Okay, they don't have the hearts anymore. Whoa. What the heck? Okay, if you guys didn't know, Frostbite's the female, and she just went to sleep, which I'm guessing means something crazy must have happened because, you know, she's tired now. She probably exerted a lot of energy. Inferno seems just fine. Rodney, stay close to me. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You guys see that, right? I'm pretty sure there's an egg. Hold up. What the actual heck? This is a weird-looking egg. It's super white, and it looks like it has lightning particles. Oh, Inferno went to sleep too. Okay, this is not good because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of mobs that are going to spawn in. Stay back. I have a giant nuclear blaster. Oh, geez, dude. Okay, I need to figure out how to collect the egg without harming the dragons. Okay, let's just... Yeah, we're going to blow you up, and we're going to blow you up. And uh, are there any more zombies? Inferno, Frostbite, you got to wake up. Seriously. All right, there's a ton of zombies, and we got to get this egg out of here safely. Guys, comment down below what type of dragon you think just got made. I'm a little bit curious because it doesn't look like the fire dragon egg. It doesn't look like the ice dragon egg. It looks completely different. I think the rain's starting to clear up. Oh, they woke up. Oh, I see you, bro. All right, Inferno, punch this thing. Eat its face off, please. Inferno, Inferno, okay, Inferno. I really, I, I get it, okay? You're not happy with me, but stop letting this thing punch me and kill me and shoot me, bro. It's not cool. Stay away from me. I see you down there. All right, I need to get these dragons back, and I need to figure out what type of egg they just made. I'm on Inferno's back. Okay, can we do like a dragon strike or something? Because, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried up here. Can we attack this thing? Is it dead? Oh, no, we're getting shot. All right, I'm getting the heck out of here. Bro, oh my gosh. If they take out that egg, I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, I died. It looks like Frostbite's protecting the egg, which is good. Okay, I don't see any more zombies or anything like that, so I'm pretty sure they probably just got eaten alive. 
Inferno, it's time to head back. Good work, even though I'm not really sure what you guys even did. I need to make sure that the dragon is also good because there's such thing as like bad dragon eggs and it could go rogue. So I gotta be careful here. Let's try and land Inferno back on the mountain till I get like a cave or something going here. All right, there we go. Inferno should be safe. What the heck is going on with my legs, dude? Don't worry, Frostbite, I'm coming in. Okay, we have a big problem here. I don't know if Frostbite will let me take her away from the dragon egg. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what to do. Now, I do have a torch, which I might be able to use because it looks like a dragon ender, you know, egg. So it might work the same way. Uh, if I dig underneath of it... Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to put the torch. Hold on, we gotta go two down here. All right, here we go. We're gonna put the torch right there, and then hopefully this works. Yes, there we go. What the heck, dude? It's a storm dragon. Oh my gosh, dude! I didn't even know a storm dragon was a thing! It kind of makes sense when you think about it. I was thinking it would either be a smoke dragon, a storm dragon, or just make another ice or fire dragon. But a storm dragon kind of, you know, when you think about it, is made when you uh, basically have hot air and cold air, they collide together and make a crazy tornado storm. Now, I think that's probably how it happened, but okay, we have to make sure. Let's just hop off of uh, Frostbite. You can stay on my house for now, all right, but just don't break it down. So now that we know it's a storm dragon, it kind of makes sense why it started raining and thundering right after it all happened. Uh, the only thing is, I have to make a nest, except you have to make it out of blocks that are kind of like surrounding or themed with the dragon. So I don't even know, what do I make this out of? Turns out Bessie knew that it was going to be a storm dragon all along. She just didn't want to flip and tell me. Thanks, Bessie. But she had these collected clouds that I should be able to use for a nest. So let's try it right here. Gonna make a tiny nest out of clouds. I don't know, okay, I can't walk through them, which is good. So we're gonna literally make it just like this. And then right on the outside, we'll have little pads so I can walk up and check on them. But here we go. We have our storm dragon, right click in, right click again. And there we go. It is officially activated and it should hopefully hatch in a few days. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna have to wrap it up. Today's video was absolutely insane. I had no idea that we were gonna get a storm dragon. Personally, I thought it was gonna be another fire ice dragon, but that's super cool. I'm gonna need a ton of name suggestions for this new storm dragon. I have a few in mind, but I wanna read you guys' suggestions first. That's gonna wrap it up though. Hopefully within the next couple of videos, we'll figure out if the storm dragon hatches and I will train it to be the best dragon ever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe if you're new, like today's video, Eat a cookie while you're at it, why not? My name is Beckbro Dragon Master, and I will see you guys all back again here tomorrow. Peace out, dudes.